Yeah, no, thank you. I really appreciate it, bro. Thank you for the lift. I was in a tight spot this morning. <laughs> well, um, I better let you go. I'll um, probably see you tomorrow. That's if I can be bothered to come into work. And if my stupid car gets fixed by then, which it should do. I have a rough idea of what's wrong with it. <laughs> Alright, well, you drive safe. Take care, mate. Okay. <sighs> This is getting real old. I gotta start a business or something. I can't believe how freaking useless my car is. Piece of shit. When the dude at the dealership sold it me, he assured me this sort of thing wouldn't happen. He told me it wouldn't let me down. But like all cheap diesel injection cars... The glow plugs failed in the cold, so naturally I was stranded this morning. It's lucky I got friends to back me up when shit like this happens. I just wish I didn't need to have that. I just wish I had more. I care about my friends. But I just... I shouldn't have to rely on them. One day, I'll be a billionaire, and I'll have everything I want. <laughs> and this freezing to death in a little crappy two-bedroom apartment with a crappy piece of junk car f funded by a crappy job. It'll all be behind me. <laughs> I'll get past this. Maybe I'll go into coding. Learn how to make apps and stuff. Oh, yeah. I could totally make apps and stuff. I'd make the new YouTube. I hear all the YouTubers whining about how unfair that platform is. Yeah. That's a million dollar idea right there, Hydro. Make the new YouTube. <laughs> I believe in you, Kind of have to, because no one else believes in me. Hmm. Wait. Maybe they do, actually. <laughs> oh, I bet they're freezing in there. I might treat them to a takeout later. If I'm feeling generous. Which I always am, because life sucks, and kindness doesn't. Uh, uh. Oh, sweet Jesus. Don't tell me I've lost my keys now. Uh, oh, where are they? Uh, this is not my day. Um, uh, oh. <laughs> what the heck are you guys doing in my back pocket? I never put you guys in here. Use me a sore ass. <laughs> oh, I don't even know why I have this dumb thing. A lucky eight ball charm. It's not like it ever brings me any luck. <sighs> okay, that's enough ranting to myself and talking to a set of keys like they're gonna talk back. Let's see how the roommate's doing in here. I bet they're freezing. Hey, Rumi. <laughs> oh, man. I have had a naff day today. How are you doing? It's kind of thinking about getting a takeout if you want to join. Jeez, it's cold in here. You know, you can put the heater on at any time, right? I know it smells weird, but it's better than hypothermia, dummy. <laughs> Where the heck are you? I know you're here. I can see your car outside. Um... Speaking of which, if you're not doing anything tomorrow, can I lend your car to go to work in? Uh, mine's tragically passed away, like you said it would. Gone to the great junkyard in the sky, sadly. But as per expected. So, do you reckon that would be cool? You know, I'm a really good driver, I wouldn't damage it or anything. Hey? Rumi? 
Okay, this is getting kind of eerie now. Where the heck are you? Uh, Rumi! Uh, they're asleep. At their desk? But they never sleep in the day. They especially never sleep whilst they're working. Hey, Rumi. Look at me. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, of course it's me, silly. What the heck's wrong with you? This is very out of character of you. <laughs> Seriously, you are all right, aren't you? You doing okay? You aren't feeling too good. Oh. Well, um... Let me save whatever you're working on. Uh, control S. <sighs> okay, you can come back to that whenever. <laughs> Looks like you've done more than enough anyway for today. Looks like you've done more than enough for a month. Maybe four. Yeah, <sighs> Sweetie, I assume the reason you're feeling funny is because of how bloody cold it is in here. And also because you're so, so overworked. All you've been doing for the past few weeks is just grinding and grinding, and even though it's admirable, it, it really, it's taken too much out of you. I'm worried. But we can talk about that whenever. At the moment, I am going to perform one of my rescue missions like I do when you're drunk, and I'm going to carry you to bed now. <laughs> How does that sound? Of course I'm strong enough. Strength is about the only thing I do have these days. <laughs> now, wrap your arms around my neck. Ah, hold on really tightly. I'm just going to slide my arm underneath your legs. And just like that, I'm going to gently uh, uh, pick you up. <laughs> oh, you're so light in my arms. You're so cold. Look at your roommate is a big warm giant, am I right? <laughs> Let's get you to bed. Uh, uh, mm. Just get this door open. Uh. Huh? You're like a baby. <laughs> yeah, you are like my baby, I guess. <laughs> Damn, you better not be running a fever, Rumi, because that is definitely something you'd never say. You're starting to get me worried over here. You're just joking around. <laughs> yeah, well, you better be. <laughs> Right, let's get you warm. Okay, here's your bed. Uh, 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 there we go. Another happy landing, as Obi-Wan Kenobi would say. <laughs> Here, let's wrap you up all nice and tight. Uh, uh. Oh, you've got an electric blanket. Oh, that's so nice. I'm actually genuinely really jealous right now. <laughs> Here, let me turn that on for you. It's all plugged in, right? Cool. Uh, uh. I'll put it on nice and low. We don't want to cook you, do we? <laughs> How's that feel? I could provide the extra heat myself without running up the energy bill. Um, I mean, I don't have Pyro's firepower from the X-Men, so I'm not entirely sure how I would go about that, but I definitely think it's time for you to nap, cutie. Are you definitely sure you're not running a fever? <laughs> and yeah, I did just call you cutie. And you can't do anything about it. <laughs> <sighs> Look at you, all wrapped up. 
You better stay warm, okay? Uh, you want me to provide the extra heat by cuddling you in bed? Oh, well. That blanket does look awful warm. <laughs> and you do look awful cuddly. Are you sure about this? You don't think it's like crossing one of those boundaries that we never set, do you? I mean, I know we live together and sometimes we cuddle on the couch and that one time when we made out whilst we were drunk, but, you know, this is, this is quite intimate cuddling. <laughs> You don't really care, either way. <laughs> okay then, I'll get him beside you. If that's absolutely what you want. <sighs> oh gosh, that's so nice and warm. I'm definitely stealing this from you. <laughs> oh, do you want me to hold you? <laughs> Uh, well, that answers that. <laughs> Come here, Rumi. Mm. Uh. I've got you. Hey, look at me. <laughs> yeah, I did kiss you on the forehead. <laughs> and I'm about to kiss you on the cheek as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you moved your head on purpose then. That's very naughty. <laughs> of course I enjoyed kissing you. I care about you. And you are fully aware of that. I've always cared about you. In fact, I'd go so far as to say, I've grown to love you. <laughs> it feels so good to get that off my chest. <laughs> but remember, even if you don't... <gasps> you love me too. <laughs> What a crap way to confess. <laughs> Listen. We're in a... awful place at the moment. Both of us have to work all the hours Satan sends. Just to make a damn living. But... Coming home to you... And having someone like you in my corner, it makes this fight all worthwhile. I hope I can be half the inspiration to you, as you are to me. I hope that I can be more. I just, I just want you to know that I really do appreciate you. You mean everything to me. I'm sorry. I'm not going too far, am I? I always have been an inspiration to you. And I always will be. I mean everything to you as well. Come here. Mm. Uh, you need to rest. We can have a cute confession together later, I think. But for now, I need those cute little hands of yours to stop being frozen. <laughs> and I need to get some colour back in your cheeks. Just to make sure everything you're saying really is real, not just a fever dream. <laughs> No, I'm I'm joking. I know you mean it. 
I can see it in your eyes. You really do love me, don't you? Just the way I love you. So I'm going to hold you extra tight. And I'm going to say this. I love you, Rumi. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Sleep well.